Hello, I'm Teresa Rodriguez, beauty expert at Lulash Laboratories. It's May 25 today, and at Lulash we are celebrating the International Skin Pigmentation Day. This is a special date on which we aim to raise awareness and educate people about the importance of skin care and skin protection. For more than 130 years, at Lulash, we have dedicated our day-to-day -day research on offering specific solutions to dark spots and white patches. We believe it's very important to make everyone feel good in their own skin again. We are so excited to have Dr. Liu with us today. She is a dermatologist and an assistant professor in Minnesota, as well as the preferred dermatologist of the country's leading publications, such as Cosmopolitan, Allure, and Women's Health. Hello, Dr. Liu. It's a great pleasure to have you here with us today. Hello, Teresa. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. So, Dr. Liu, if you don't mind, let's start from the beginning. Many people are affected by skin spots, especially the dark ones. So, why and how do they form on our skin? Before we talk about that, it's important to understand why we even get them. And that has to do with the melanocytes that exist in our skin. And these are cells that have a very important function, which basically helps and gives us our skin color. They make melanin. And, you know, biologically, they serve a very important role to protect our skin from ultraviolet radiation damage, from environmental damage. Um, but when there is inflammation or say excessive environmental damage like sun exposure, the melanocytes can be activated and stimulated and therefore it can end up with uneven skin tone, dark or light spots. That's very interesting. So what factors influence in the accumulation of melanin and the formation of dark spots? So a lot of it is just genetics. You know, many of us are born with um, we all are born with different skin tones. And interestingly enough, regardless of your skin color, we all have the same number of melanocytes, those cells that create pigment. It's about um, the type of pigment, the type of melanin, um, how fast they're made, um, how distributed they are in the skin, how fast they're broken down that really impact our skin tone and skin color. On top of that, environmental exposures like the amount of ultraviolet radiation, um, underlying skin conditions, for example, like melasma, acne, eczema, all of that can influence the activity of our melanocytes. So, for example, individuals who have more color in their skin, um, when they when their melanocytes become more active, they are more prone to getting these dark spots. For example, like after acne, like post acne marks, for example. Similarly, we also see that in skin of color individuals, more commonly than someone who's fair skin, they're more prone to a condition called melasma. And that is complex, but often genetics, inflammation, sun exposure, heat, um, all of that can play a role. And then there are some people, um, we see this more commonly in fair skin, but with just chronic sun exposure, we can get what's called sunspots or solar lenticles. So there are a lot of reasons why we would get uneven skin tone, and it's often a mixture of genetics and environmental factors. So this brings us to the question, what sort of dark spots are there and how do we identify them? There are a lot of different types, you know, some more common than others. So I'll just go into the more, more common types. Number one, the first thing I talked about is just from chronic sun exposure, chronic sun damaged skin. So that's called solar lenticles. And these are kind of brown freckles, larger freckles that we get most commonly on the face, on the arms, and commonly, you know, sun exposed areas due to chronic sun stimulation of the melanocytes. And then the other ones we think about are melasma that I mentioned earlier that has to do with, you know, we used to call them mask of pregnancy, but um, it, it comes on, you know, during pregnancy, postpartum women, some women just get it out of the blue or when they start a birth control pill. And again, that, like I said, has to do with genetics, sun exposure, inflammation, lots of other things. And then the other most common type of dark spots are due to underlying skin condition. The most common one would be like acne. So post acne, dark marks, um, 
that you get in places of acne or say after eczema. And the difference between those, obviously a dermatologist would be very helpful in helping to diagnose. But often, like I said earlier, sun sunspots tend to come on in older individuals who've had more sun exposure throughout their life, typically on the face or areas where they have chronic sun exposure. Melasma tends to be seen in more younger women um, in kind of the forehead, the cheeks, and sometimes the upper lip. And often these are not circles, but like larger brown patches that are symmetrically seen on both sides. And then acne postmarks, we, you know, typically see them as like little round dots in areas where there was pre-existing acne. Well, thank you very much for your explanation. I think it's clearer now. And at this point, we can continue to explain a little bit more how to reduce the appearance of dark spots. At Lulage, we have a specific line Bio 1040 that contains B Core 221 technology of great efficiency developed by our laboratories. This will reduce the appearance of dark spots as well as it will bring luminosity and uniformity to our skin. We have to know that we have two different formats in cream and ampules, depending on your preference about the texture. If we talk about the cream, it would give more hydration and moisture. And we have four, two different types of skin. All types of skin format with isoflavone and four sensitive skin with extract 100% natural of Langsat. If you want a lighter and smoother texture, you can choose the vial. Okay, for these kinds of skins that are more oily, for cream, I'm going to explain the application. You will have enough with two pulsations. If you use the vial, you will use half of it. Okay, so now we temper the product and we deposit in all the face, neck and neckline. And we will give a slightly massage until it's completely absorbed. It is important to note that this treatment will have to be applied twice a day with clean skin before you use an, another product. But at Lulash, firstly, we recommend to our consumers to go and visit the dermatologist to have a correct diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Isn't it that so important, Dr. Liu? Absolutely, that is very important because first and foremost, to treat your dark spots, you want to make sure that you correctly identify the underlying cause. You know, for example, acne, the, the acne dark parts are going to persist. Um, so the most important thing when it's comes to treating the dark marks is to make sure you tackle and control the underlying condition. And certainly there are other dark spots too that may be dangerous. And so seeing dermatologists having proper evaluation and then knowing what you have and then properly treat it is really going to be the most important and effective way in getting rid of the uneven skin tone. Yeah, that's right. And as you know, in addition to dark spots that we were talking before, we have white patches as well. So what type of white patches can we have? There are very dis various different types. The most common, again, is the opposite of dark spots, where we where are basically um, in more commonly in skin of color individuals with more darker skin tone. But some people have a higher likelihood or propensity to instead of getting dark spots where there is inflammation, say acne or eczema, they get light patches. And so it would look like dark spots, but instead of dark, it's light. Um, and so there is a temporary loss of skin color. It's not permanent due to the inflammation. And then another condition that is common, and that is a medical condition where your body is actually attacking the pigment in your skin and thereby can lead to permanent um, skin color loss and that is a condition that can affect individual you know their appearance their mental health their self-esteem it itself is not dangerous um, but certainly can affect um, you know their mental well-being and that is something that will need to be treated by a dermatologist well this information is very interesting and at Lulash we're about to launch in the USA a white patches corrector face and body cream Repigment 12. You have to apply this cream twice a day with clean skin. Its texture 
is very light and comfortable, as you can see here. We must wait at least 30 or 40 minutes until you can put another product on top. Remember to combine with sun exposure, but being cautious with the sun. Mm -hmm. After three months, you will have an even and smoother skin. As I said before, Repigment 12 is not yet available in the USA, but it will be very soon. Another thing I would like to talk about is the psychological consequences of having skin spots, especially white ones. What do you think about this, Dr. Liu? Have you seen this in your practice? Absolutely. I see a combination of dark spots and white spots. And I would say probably just out of, you know, the, the frequency, dark spots are more commonly seen. But certainly whether it's dark or light spots, the, the presence of them certainly affects one's um, self-esteem, their appearance. And often, even though the dark and light spots are more of a sequelae, a consequence due to underlying condition, um, they're not dangerous, but nevertheless, it can be very frustrating, very challenging to treat and can really um, can affect one's you know, self-esteem and confidence and mental well-being. Yes, of course, that would concern us the most to bring back a smile to our consumers and make them feel good in their own skin again. On the other hand, we always emphasize on prevention. As I said before, today we're celebrating the International Skin Pigmentation Day to raise awareness about prevention of dark spots. What can we do to prevent them, Dr. Liu? So first and foremost is sun protection. Well, I should say, take a step back. First and foremost is being able to understand the underlying condition and get that under control and properly treated by a dermatologist. The next important thing is sun protection. Whether it's dark or light spots, we know that sun plays a huge role in causing skin um, discoloration, uneven skin tone. So wearing sunscreen regularly, and that even means applying enough, reapplying throughout the day, um, even if you're indoors, can be very, very important. And then the next step would be after the you know, proper condition has been identified, using effective treatments to target your concern. This is very useful. Even on cloudy days, we have to protect ourselves from radiation, isn't it? Absolutely. So radiation, UV radiation comes in various different types. What hits our skin are what we call UVA and UVB. And UVA is really the bad player that will go through cloud, go through glass. I mean, unless you live in a black box, you're going to get UVA exposure. And that is unfortunately also the type of UV that drives hyperpigmentation. And over time does lead to um, you know, skin damage. So it is very important though, even if you're not outside to be wearing sunscreen, as long as it's during the day and you're seeing no light coming through. Yes, of course. I also would like to share with you one of the most common questions we receive every day at Lulash. Can we use dark spots correctors even in sunny days? What's your opinion about it? You know, it, it really depends on the individual and what the treatment plan has been prescribed by the dermatologist. Now, certainly, we do know that there are certain ingredients like alpha hydroxy acid that increases one's sensitivity to the sun. And for some individuals, that might not be the right ingredient to use, say, during the day or during the sunny months. Um, and then um, there are other ingredients, like, for example, retinoids that may, say, not make you, say, truly sun sensitive, but can cause irritation, therefore, thereby with sun exposure together may exacerbate the underlying inflammation. So, again, it's always important to talk to your dermatologist. I do feel, though, because you should be very aggressive for sun protection, that truly no ingredient is really off limits, but this is very personal and should definitely be discussed with your provider. But the good news is, is the um, Biotin Forte doesn't have any of these ingredients that will make your skin sun sensitive. So you can certainly use this during the summer, during the day, as well as at night. Thank you very much, Dr. Liu. It's been a real pleasure to be here with you today. And I'm sure people have been taking notes of what you said. Thank you so much for having me. You know, this is such a common, popular, and really important topic. So I'm very happy to quickly jump on here to discuss all the relevancies. And to all people watching us, thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot and found this conversation very interesting. See you soon.